Hey guys, welcome back to my channel and I am doing my very first update. This is my six months update of my project liner. So the beginning of this year, I just had a bunch of liner that I was looking at and I was just like, you know what? Let me try to see if I could use this up this year. They're not part of any like things I want to use. Like there are, there are some of them that are part of my you try to use it up. By 2016 goals but most of them aren't they're just for me to see if I can so um, there are a bunch of highliners and two lip liners so let's talk about the ones that I haven't finished yet the ones that I have finished yet first and why I um, finished them or whatever so this one is my elf liquid liner and there's still a bit left in here but my problem with this is that it's just not that opaque i don't know if you can see that it smears it might look really opaque here but when it goes on my eyelid it doesn't really oh yeah it starts to separate there i don't know if you can see but it's starting to separate and i would just always have to do like a double layer and i'm not all, all about that life I don't want to work so hard for my eyeliner. And speaking of not wanting to work hard for my eyeliner, I am t calling it quits on this one. This is my Makeup Forever 12 L liner. This was a beautiful liner once upon a time. And you can still see that it still has its pigmentation. But the problem with this, there it's still pigmented. problem with this is that it's kind of dried out. And it just tugs on my eyeliner, on my like, on my lash line, and it hurts every time I do it now, even if I try to heat it up. It's just not worth it. I have liners that I still have to go through, so I am calling that one quits. So for my um, pencil liners, let's just talk with my pencil liners first. I have quite a bit of this left. I totally forgot my update paper but this is I haven't really used that much of it just because sometimes I do forget to use lip liner um, they might look the same but they're not this is I believe oh, these are from wet wild and by the way this is brandy wine um, the colors are the writing is kind of rubbed off a bit now since I do bring this with me and there it is it's kind of like a reddish brown and then this one is chestnut and this one is a little bit more on the red side let me make the other one a bit more opaque a bit bigger i should say there it is um clearly i probably can't finish this within the next six months i'm okay with that my i just kept forgetting to use it so my reason to have this was so that way i could you know continue to use it um i have a sephora pencil liner this came with my project pan item it is a, a sephora eyeshadow palette and this is in the color brown and as old as this liner is, it hasn't dried out. It's still pretty creamy and pretty pigmented. And it is a true brown liner. Um, how I would try to use this, my um, liquid liner from e.l.f. is either use this first or my 12L from Makeup Forever and then place this on top. But because this is a pain in the butt, and this is kind of a pain in the butt too, I just decided to call it quits. So yeah, I still, I am hoping to at least get this one at least to the H, or like either the H or the H is gone. That'd be really cool. I don't know <laughs> about that. All right, the next ones are liquid liners. I The rest are liquid liners. These are from a birthday gift that I got a while back and I just don't know what brand they are it just says distributed by mark Lentz, which is the same company as wet and wild so yeah it just says that and it's a silver liner these are really interesting just because i use this sometimes but it doesn't look like 
I've made a dent in it and I don't know why. So the so what I usually do with this is that I use it more as like an add-on liner. Like I'll use my regular liner and then I'll add this for a little ump. There is a silver one. It's really pretty. And then I have a blue one from this one too. But I noticed that they both have different consistencies. I don't think it's changed since I've had this even though it's been a couple of years but the fact that like I don't know maybe because blue and silver pigments are different but they're still very pretty. They're still doing really well. They don't really flake out on me so that's why I haven't thrown those out. And then I have my last two. They're from the Sephora Hello Kitty um, collection when they collabed for, during Hello Kitty's um, anniversary and it is another purple one and it is a, there is another blue in here and I actually like this blue better I use it more often than the other one just because it's more of a bright blue I don't know why I'm making it squares but you could see that it's like a different blue and I have this purple from there I actually haven't even made a dent in this one. I don't really use this purple one much. I don't know why. It's really pretty. Let me just like... Doo -doo -doo. And there it is. It's really pretty. This purple is really pretty, but I forget to use it. But I do use the blue more often. I do have a line update for here. So the first white line is where I start in the beginning of the year. And then the second one is where I am at now. And the purple one I am down there I, it hasn't moved this project has I kind of opened my eyes of how quickly actually how slowly I go through liner and I haven't really wanted to get liner oh my gosh I totally forgot another liner I have a gel liner that I'm also trying to use but I haven't touched that one at all all year round because I've been trying to actually focus on the ones that I just showed you out more just because they are it's so much easier to just like have it out than the gel liner i totally forgot about that one but yeah see um just the fact that i'm trying to use up all of this i haven't tried i haven't really bought eyeliner even though a part of me wants to the fergie line right now is currently available at dollar trees and i want to guess i saw some but i refrained myself from getting an eyeliner even though I know that the Fergie liners are pretty decent so yeah that's just my update I really don't know what to say about this I just really wanted to do a video because um, I know it wasn't a popular video but be I ha like my conscience is like you still need to do a video on this so I at least I got some liners I just totally dropped one at least I got some liners out of my collection and I'm just going to hopefully make some dents within the next six months with the other ones. <sighs> just because it's going to be kind of hard just because only one liner that's going to be in a true project pen is my Sephora one. So we'll just see what happens at the end of the year. And yeah, thank you guys so much for watching and I'll see you next time. Bye!